The cause of death for Gabby Petito has been released. A coroner is classifying her death as a homicide, saying she was strangled. Her fiance, Brian Laundrie, remains unaccounted for. He's a person of interest in the case, but he's not been charged or named a suspect. And we talked with a survivor of domestic violence, and she says when she watched the body camera video released of Petito and Laundrie, she knew the relationship was abusive. News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom reports on her warning for others. When Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie got into a physical altercation in August, you can see and hear Gabby apologizing for everything. I talked to a domestic violence survivor and she says that's a telltale sign of abuse. The coroner in T10 County released his autopsy findings Tuesday, saying 22 year old Gabby Petito was strangled and someone killed her. This footage of a physical altercation on August 10th with Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie was released from the Moab Police Department. You can hear Petito apologize several times. Like, I'm sorry that I get so stressed out because I have OCD. And Laundrie saying she gets worked up sometimes. She just gets worked up sometimes and I try and really distance myself from her so like I, I lock the car. And I a survivor of domestic violence who wishes to remain anonymous says this is a telltale sign of abuse. That's domestic violence. I said, I recognize myself in that girl. I said, she's a victim of domestic violence because you can just see that fear in her face. She was taking the blame on herself. More importantly, um, was his actions pretty much insinuating that she's crazy. This woman says she was in an abusive relationship for a year. He would punch holes in the wall. He would break items. He would damage things that he knew were important to me. She says she didn't know she was in an abusive relationship at first. I didn't necessarily think of myself as a victim of domestic violence because um, I wasn't experiencing that physical abuse. She says as for why she didn't leave. You, this person that you have children with punching holes in the wall, you're going, oh my gosh, you know, I just, I, okay, I'm just going to appease this person because I don't want them to hurt me or my kids. She says eventually law enforcement had to get involved in an event and she got out of the relationship and received the help she needed from Quigley House, a nonprofit for victims of domestic violence. That's not the case for Gabby Petito. She was much younger than I was and I just I wish that she and others like her who are going through that could, um, she could have gotten out and others like her. I hope they do get out. Coming up on News for Jax at 11, hear from this domestic violence survivor and hear her advice on how to get out of abusive relationships. Reporting in Jacksonville, Bree Isom, Channel 4, The Local Station.